So while grade school students in Quebec are heading back to class outside of the city of Montreal, there are tens of thousands of university students in that province who know they won't be back on campus before next January. McGill and the University of Montreal plan to offer most of their courses for the fall semester online. And as Deanna Sumanak johnson tells us this morning, other institutions across Canada are looking to make that same switch. After months of stress and confusion, finally some clarity for Canada's post-secondary students wondering what to expect in the fall, at least for more than 40,000 of them attending Montreal's McGill University, which just made the call that in September, classes will return online, not in person. Not that that's necessarily good news for some of McGill's students, like Emma Walsh, who is in second year of her law school just kind of devastated when my friends and I immediately called each other and talked about it because this is a huge fear for us. Um, a lot of us had found new places, like I just moved into my apartment about a week ago um, and signed a month-long lease, or rather a 12-month-long lease that I'm now stuck in. In addition to money worries, students like Walsh are also concerned that online classes do not compare to the type of education they were receiving in person. But those online classes may well be the reality for many of Canada's university students. Hours after McGill, University of British Columbia and Simon Fraser University made their fall plans known. Larger classes will be held online with select small classes or labs conducted in person where possible. And Ontario universities may well follow some version of that plan as well. I think it's very unlikely at any point in the fall that we'll see those larger three to 400 student undergraduate classes. There's just no possibility of physical distancing there. Measures made to save lives, even if they detract from the social and some students would say educational aspect of the university experience. Deanna Sumanak-Johnson, CBC News, Toronto.